been in a Toy Story film. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, again, I think I have to speak to the technical and then to the characters and then to the ambition of storytelling. Um, I think the excellence across the board that the creators and all of the, you know, both technically and in the writing, the performances, um, it's really, you know, world class. And, and the heart from the films, the sensitivity, um, the inventiveness. So to be able to play a character and, and um, be a part of that world, um, when, I, when I received the invitation, I was like, wow, cool. And then when I met everyone, I was like, oh, okay, this is why they're really great. You know, and then to have the chance to, to have such a great character as Duke Kaboom, um, I was like, wow, this is, this is pretty awesome. So it was a really, a really great experience. Duke is part of this world that we find inside an antique store. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of toys without, you know, friends, without a kid. And, um, you know, Duke's a part of that world. And, and all of a sudden, Bo Peep comes back and she's got a, a, a friend with her. Who's that cowboy? You know, and so he's introduced to Woody. And, um, and at that time, they also have, um, you know, they need some help, and they're, they're going to Woody, I'm sorry, they're going to uh, Duke to try and help them. And uh, Duke uh, wants to help. I play uh, Duke Kaboom in the film, and uh, he's a daredevil, a stuntman. He's a toy that he's got his motorcycle, the Kaboom cycle. Um, and he's a character, you know, he's very brave. He's got a lot of heart. Um, he's friends with Bo Peep in the world. And um, he, uh, he has a sensitivity to him because he had a, you know, when he was unboxed in Christmas, Boxing Day, you know, he was, you know, his, his, uh, his friend was Rajon. But, you know, I there was a commercial that said I could, you know, jump the Grand Canyon and all of these things, and he played with a toy, and I couldn't do it. It was a commercial, Rajan, a commercial. And this is kind of his, his, his wound. And through the course of the film, um, which is often the case in Toy Story, there's healing. And it's healing through the friendships, the companionships, the adventure, the task. You know, there's a lot of kind of teaching moments, but also, you know, uh, through character um, and through love, you know, that, that, that wound for Duke is, is healed, you know? So, um, I love Duke Kaboom. Oh, Peep is a rocker, uh, you know? I mean, what a spirit, you know? Her kind of can-do aspect and also her wisdom. Um, and she is, that character has, you know, the juxtaposition with Woody in terms of their storylines, you know, the, the idea of having a kid or, or what is another life outside of a kid that can also be connected to kids. Um, so that relationship, the way that they kind of play on each other in this adventure um, to, to help a toy and to help a kid um, and then, you know, just, you know, she can drive, she can fight, you know, she's super smart, she's funny, you know, um, I think it's a, it's a wonderful character, and, uh, um, and it's cool to see the way Bo Peep works with everybody, the kind of cooperation, the can-do, the inventiveness, the never-give-up kind of thing, um, and, you know, being independent, but also being a part of the community that is with her, around her, um, and her communication and everything. What struck me was the animators bringing such a physicality and physical humor and timing to all of the characters. Um, you know, there's slapstick, there's comedy of circumstance. Oh, no! Oh my God, you know, dealing with new situations. Um, and then how the characters, you know, speak to each other is very funny. 
I mean, Buzz Lightyear is just a miracle, you know. Tim's performance in that is just, I mean, it's so great, you know. Da -da -da -da, you know, the person inside me, who? You know, I mean, like, yeah, it's just so fantastic.